Infrastructure Development Minister Honorable Norland Cox says government will continue to pursue its transformation agenda in 2022 for the transport sector. The aim is to assess the existing system to analyze its level of organization. Senator Cox told members of the Upper House on Tuesday that a sustainable road public transport system study has commenced and preliminary work to restructure the sector will begin in 2022. The study is part of a one-year regional pilot project funded by the Caribbean Development Bank, which will look at the structures and policies needed to enhance the sector. Where the, the transport sector is, where the market, what is taking place in the market, and we have a, a, a study that is geared towards a sustainable road, a public transport system um, in the new year. Work has started already, contract already, but we'll see boots on the ground in, in 2022. Work is going on in the background. Consultants are already working. They're doing their preliminary assessment uh, to ensure that we do an analysis of the market so that we can say what is taking place. And we are also working towards coming up with a proper fee structure um, for how do we increase bus fare? Uh, is, is the fare that we have now, is it appropriate? Is it right? What is a fare increase? Instead of just arbitrarily saying we want a dollar more, we want 50 cents more, what informs that? You know, how much more, how it should be increased by. So we are trying to get all these indicators sorted out. He said government will also be looking at ways it can be involved in public transportation and give more support towards the sector. We are seeing how we support uh, the, the, the sector in terms of our senior citizens. Should we allow uh, somebody, uh, to senior citizens to ride on the, the, the small buses? Um, we know sometimes especially when you get close to festival, we have our local music playing sometimes. Some persons have challenges with loud music. So we are, we are seeing that there are inherent issues surrounding the sector in terms of transport. And we, we look at the possibility of having a dedicated transport for senior persons, persons with disabilities, persons who are challenged. As you know, there is no transport. The transport sector do not cater for that currently. And that is an area of weakness for us. And so we are working on that to see how we can improve that. Mr. Deputy President.